Did you know that somebody is trying to steal your woman? Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It, the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. And today, I'm here to tell you guys that somebody is trying to steal your woman. Now, there's many reasons for this, okay? Number one, men have eyes, okay? We're visual creatures. And if your woman is even remotely attractive, and I'm not one to judge what attraction, attractive level is. It's always uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But from working with many females over the years, having a lot of female friends, um, having dated around, I can tell you that I've seen it with my own eyes. I've done it with my own actions. And women will get doors open for them when they go into a store. They'll have the gas station clerk hit on them or give them compliments. It happens everywhere. So with regards to your relationship, your woman, your girlfriend, your wife, your fiance, whatever it is, right? Just know that they are getting hit on constantly. It's just the way it is, okay? Now, what do you do about that, right? Now, you could do one of a few things, and I think all of these approaches are wrong. One, you can lock her up in the cellar. That's a joke. But um, you could stay with her 24-7. You can check in with her all the time. And you could do all these things that show that you're weak and needy and try to make sure that no one ever sees her, touches her, looks at her, talks to her, okay? And that is called the clinger, the clingy guy. Now, if you're a man of value and a man of self-respect, you're going to let things play out the way they are. So we all have free will. And I don't care if you're married, if you're just started dating, if, um, you know, let's just say it's a committed relationship. You know, we're not with that other person 24 seven and everybody has the choice to do what's right by their partner or they can go and play and do whatever they want. And there's no way that you ever truly know. And that's why in a good committed relationship, you have to have trust. And if you don't have that, you don't have much, okay? So that's one thing you can do. Um, two is you can, um, you know, try to, you know, psychologically or emotionally get her hooked and dependent on you so that she thinks low of herself and that she's just gonna be chasing you trying to keep your validation, okay? Now, that's also not good because it's not healthy and it doesn't show much respect for her or for her um, her morals and ethics and decision-making power, okay? So that's the second thing. Um, what you need to do is the things that you did do to attract her in the first place and that is courtship or dating or you know, showing that you care, listening to her, not tuning her out, not getting lazy, you know. Um, you used to listen to her stories and talk to her on the phone, you know, to all hours of the night. And all of a sudden, what happened? You know, you got complacent. You got comfortable and you just kind of, uh-huh, uh-huh. Or maybe you just, you know, don't make a lot of time for her. There's a lot of things that, you know, when you start to get, um, you know, familiar in a relationship, you get comfortable and you get lazy. And that happens to all of us if we don't keep it in check. Okay. So you're never done dating her. Okay. You're always showing her affection. You're reminding her how much you care about her. You're buying her little gifts. You're still dating her. Okay. You're doing your thing with her. You're growing with her if you want to keep her. Okay. So this is not a time to have, um, you know, to be an egomaniac and think that, you know, just because you guys are in a committed relationship that you can just rest on your laurels, right? You know, you quit going to the gym, you quit eating better, you know, you quit striving for more at work, you know, you, you sort of got comfortable and a little bit lazy, you know, if we're being honest, and it can happen to the best of us. And you want to make sure that you're not falling into those habits before it's too late and your woman starts to have a wandering eye because she's not getting her needs met with you, okay? And it can happen to anybody. Um, it can happen to uh, you if you're in a relationship and she starts to not care about herself anymore, take you for granted, just yell at you, doesn't validate you, or whatever it is your love language is that makes you feel loved. And all of a sudden, you know, it can only go so far before, you know, your emotional bank account is, is pretty much empty 
and you're looking for somebody else. And if you're in that, you know, situation, you know, you handle it the way you want to, whether it's um, talking it over with her, um, going to counseling, whatever it is, you know, and, but if you're going to stray, you know, take my advice and just end the relationship. You know, don't be afraid to be alone. That's a time when you're going to grow, you're going to heal, you know, you may be depressed for a little bit, but you got to go through that process to be stronger and better for the next person. So make sure that you're in a good headspace if that's what you're going to do and get out of the relationship. Okay. So those are my takes. That's my, that's my word. That's my thoughts on it. I'm sticking to them. Um, I've been around this, uh, this game long enough and these are my experiences and hopefully some of it resonates for whoever you are in your relationship. Like, share, subscribe. Talk to you guys again soon. Okay, make a date. Don't be late. I need to take that advice.